So we need to think about data quality in a different way. Um, good data should be at the heart of every banking decision. Welcome to the Bankers Masterclass series entitled Data Deluge, Asset or Liability, in association with Gresham Technologies. I'm Joy McKnight, Deputy and Technology Editor at The Banker, and I'm joined by Ian Manocha, CEO of Gresham, which specializes in enterprise data integrity solutions. In Chapter 1 of this four-part video series, we will discuss how banks can address the increasing need for real-time data analysis. Ian, thanks so much for joining us today. Delighted to be here, Joy. What would you say are the biggest challenges that banks face in terms of data? Well, in terms of data, I, it probably sounds a little glib, but actually making sure the data is fit for purpose is the number one challenge. Um, so we need to think about data quality in a different way. Um, good data should be at the heart of every banking decision, whether it's a decision about sales and trading or about customers or about risk and regulatory topics. So good data is fundamental to it, and getting it right is, I think, the fundamental challenge. Okay, but then how can banks get the data right? How can they improve the quality of their data? Well, I think we need to think about it in a different way. Um, it's easy as a banker to say, well, that bit of data there, I'm not sure that's right, but we need to get a much more granular view on it. So we need to think about data in broader set of metrics. Um, is it complete? Is it consistent? Is it valid? Is it accurate? Is it unique? And is it timely? And I think if we think about it in terms of those metrics, we can start to put in place the right systems and processes, the right KPIs, the right behaviours to actually improve quality of data. Okay. And there's a lot of talk now around real-time data. You know, how can banks really look at real-time data in a different way, whether it's from a business or a compliance perspective? Well, I think of it less as real-time data and more about right-time data. Um, data, having data on demand when you need it. Um, and I think, unfortunately, you know, in banking, we're still constrained by very batch-based processes, very silo-based processes. So the reality is we can't move to real-time until we upgrade our infrastructure. Um, and that's a real tough challenge, so it's holding us back. Um, but it's absolutely not about the analysis piece. It's mm -hmm. about making good data available at the right moment in time. So it's an infrastructure problem rather than a, a problem of analytical tools availability, for example. Mm. But how can you really get the value out of good quality, real-time data? Well, assume, let's assume we've got it right in terms of the quality and it's flowing up and feeding our, our process and our systems that's being made available to people. Then I think it's a combination of, of two things really. One is about understanding the data um, and secondly it's about having the, the creativity, the art of the possible if you will, to know enough about the business to be able to think about how it can be used. Um, and and that a, a requires a different skill set and so bringing that technical data-centric skill set together with good deep business understanding um, it is the key and I think we've often relied upon um, an army of data scientists to do that whereas what we're talking about here is democratizing analytics mm. and making it available to people who truly understand the business and have them not worried about whether the data is right is it of quality, but have them more think about you know, creative ways they can apply it. And that's a mind shift change from IT and um, business analyst teams into moving the availability of data forward to the people that need it. Okay, can you give any kind of examples, specific examples around that? Yeah, sure. I mean, we, you know, we work with a range of clients around the world and the nature of what we do, we're, we're, we're there making sure in, in large part that their trading, their trading data is complete and accurate yeah. and timely, et cetera, at all points in the process. So that means we see a huge amount of data. Um, and what we are seeing now is a shift from institutions saying, I need to get that right from an operations perspective and a regulatory perspective into actually, can we layer on top of it the insights so I can actually use it for business value? Um, and some of our larger clients, particularly those that have um, huge pools of data that's untapped um, and they haven't invested in the skills, um, are managing to leapfrog 
um, that generation of that that generational approach and say actually let's get software doing that work for us through using machine learning capability etc. Excellent. Thank you so much for your insights, Ian. It's been a pleasure. So in chapter two of this four-part series, we'll explore how banks can better cope with regulatory and reporting demands.